Welcome back, everybody, to the A4Q Testing Summit 2025. So I'm very excited to have with me Mehmet Sakhan, and he will be discussing today harnessing AI agents with rest assured for next level test automation. Before I give over to our presenter, I just want to remind everybody about the Q&A session at the end of this presentation. So pop your questions into the chat. And then we also have our Best Presentation and Best Speaker Awards. And you can nominate this presentation on the testingsummit.com website. So I'm not going to take up any more of your time with this. Uh, Mehmet, I give over to you to tell us a little bit more about your presentation. Hello. Thank you. So. Uh, hello, everybody. I hope uh, you are having a great day in the testing summit. As you know, uh, we will talk about AI and rest assured usage. AI uses many things, but most part of it's related with language. So when I want to talk about AI, there is a story that comes in my mind. In March 1887, 20 years old Anna Sullivan came to the Keller's family's house in Alabama. She was there to teach their seven years old daughter, Helen. Helen had been deaf and blind since she was a baby. She was smart, but often upset and angry because she couldn't communicate with others. Solomon's breakthrough teaching moment came with the weeks of her arrival. She had been spelling words into Helen's palm using a manual alphabet, but Helen didn't yet grasp that these movements represented name for things. At the water pump outside, Sullivan ran cold water over Helen's hand while repeatedly spelling W-A-T-E-R into other in her other palm. Suddenly, Helen understood that the movements in her palm symbolized the concept of water. In Helen's later writings, she described this as, this as the moment the mystery of language was revealed to me. After that, Helen began to learn very quickly. On that day alone, she learned 30 new words. In a few, mom in a few months, she knew hundreds of words, simple math, and how to read burial. She later became the uh, first deaf-blind person to earn a university degree. She graduated with honors from Radcliffe College in 1904. Helen became a famous writer, speaker, and a public, public uh, publical activist. This, this story is powerful because Solomon's success came from the understanding that Helen needed to make the fundamental connections between words and meaning, rather than just memorizing movements. Sounds familiar, right? Today, we use a similar idea when we are uh, training large language models. It predicts the words when it gives answer to us, and the prediction came from the training data, as Sullivan used manual alphabet. I wanted to share with this you because I believe language is a tool for transferring knowledge about the situations. In these videos, you will see uh, I used AI tools like Sora and VO2 to create Helen's story. Language is now also virtual. As you can see, AI cannot explain whole story, and it still needs to be get better. Or maybe I need to improve my own language skills. As I said before, language is a tool to share ideas and evidences. In our daily job as test engineers, we use it in the same way. As a testers, uh, we already thought that how can we use language in test area? Gherkin language born with that approach and behavior driven development increased in many companies. As AI came to the stage, now we can use directly to create communication with other stakeholders and our test environments. How can we do it? There is a many terms and information regarding AI. That is why I want to clarify terms before starting to use them. People are talking about AI agents, right? AI agents are the programs that make decisions and execute that decision based uh, on our given scopes. For example, creating a test case is a decision making event, right? We decide what, we, what will be the scope and what will be the test data, what our boundaries, which test scenario will be positive and negative based on the subjects. AI flow is a guiding the 
uh, AI uh, to generate solutions regarding your problem to solve. For example, share the Swagger URL to the AI and make it parse for you can be an AI flow because you triggered it. Let's see how can we use these approaches in our test automation projects. We will use AI agent to generate test cases, which we can use for the REST Azure test framework. It will run and share the result with us. As an agent, AI will update and mod or modify the test cases based on uh, new versions of Swagger. When you look at this the big picture, it's easy to say to them. So we are sharing our Swagger URL to AI agent, and it gets the data with the Swagger parser library. Uh, then with prompting, it generates test cases. Also pr with prompting, we are generating test classes, uh, which we can use in the REST Azure test framework to uh, run our test cases and share the results. If there is an update in Swagger, agent will update te the test cases. This is the high level of AI agent works in our project. Let's check the code and see what we implemented. You can find the whole project in the GitHub repo link that I shared here. I will give high level of the project information for but for more uh, details and contributions, you can use my GitHub repo. We model the endpoints, test cases, and results. AP, for example, to explain the structure of the uh, project, a app config class for configurations related with the API usage for AI services. This project, we implemented two AI API services, Clode and OpenAI. We also use a Swagger parser library as a service to retrieve necessary information that provided in the Swagger. Our main class parses the Swagger that we shared and use the test case generator uh, to enable AI services with the API tokens. Then we provided the uh, which API tokens that we provided in the application properties file. For demo purposes, we limited test case generation and endpoint support with system variables. We arranged with maximum 10 endpoints and three test cases per endpoint. Here we are using Pet Store API service, which is public dummy API service for pet stores. As I mentioned before, uh, we are using models for API endpoints, test cases, and test results. As you can see here, our test models referring the REST assured structure with the parameters and the validations, uh, defining the query parameters, path parameters, these kind of things. Here is the first step to prepare our test case generation via AI service. Here, we are determining the API specification, which we parsed via Swagger parser library and build our prompt with the specifications such as parameters, headers, and expected results. In other words, we can think that we opened the AI service chat web page and typing our content in, in it, but we didn't press send button yet. As I mentioned before, <clears throat> we in implemented two AI uh, API service, Clode and OpenAI. Here we are starting Cloud API implementation. First, we are choosing our model to execute, then limit our token usage for economic level, and <clears throat> we use system prompt to explain AI how to act related with the prompt that we are sharing. In prompt, we are <coughs> sorry. <clears throat> In prompt, we are defining generate at least X amount test cases, including positive and negative scenarios, based on the endpoints that we parsed with their specifications. We send our request and parse the response, which we have as a JSON format. For OpenAI, we need to create map objects to give specifications related with the API usage. So here we are using different, we need to use a different approach like 
first model and token will be in the request path map object. We define roles like system and user for our prompt use message and add them to the request body map object. Set the request with the authentication header using barrier token. We need to handle the response with choices and message, then get the content of the message as a string. At the end, AI understands the contacts and generate necessary test cases, and the rest will be the tests and share the result, the, the, run the tests and share the result with the stakeholders. Here you can see the generated log files and test cases related with the pet store API endpoints. It generates the name of the test classes with the functions like store order post, which is the test case that checked the store function in the pet store endpoints. And I also choose this picture because when I saw the test case generated with the uh, AI agent, I felt the same way what uh, this lady felt. So for the open AI uh, to see what you did, we had a pretty useful logging in, uh, interface that you can check your API requests related with your AI service calls. It gives the model that you use and the content of the request. You can extend one of the requests and get the details. You can analyze that request and understand what's going on there. You can, as you can see here, it generates data based on what we explained to it and generate the results as we asked. Pure JSON format that we can parse and use it to generate our test cases. We also ask generate test classes that we can use in the rest assure framework. So in both test case generation and test class generation, we defined a persona to AI in the system prompt. This will narrow the specifications that we want to from the AI service. I mean, for test scenario generation, it, we use prompt like, uh, you are an API testing expert, generate REST assured test code for given test case specification, use GUnit 5 and follow the best practices for API testing. And for test case generation, we use you're an API testing expert, generate test cases in JSON format for the given API endpoints. Focus on common test scenarios like valid input, invalid input, and edge cases and security tests. Using this approach, helps AI to predict better solution in the generation phase. At the end, our test report uh, ready to share with the stakeholders. Also with the, uh, in the CI CD pipelines, you can have the, uh, these kind of better uh, pictures based on your test runs. This usage will give us many opportunities to make more exploratory testing in the development lifecycle because AI will handle the basic needs of testing for your product or system features. I always like to share another quote that I like to use. Uh, the engineer is not the one who knows everything, but the one who knows what is where. So language is here to use with AI and you can do everything with it. It, of course, you need to be careful about the restrictions, GDPR, and this kind of uh, regulations. But uh, this AI subject every day become a really, uh, how you can say, it's getting more attentive, and each day you're getting new results. So just use this as a tool that you can have in your daily life. Thank you. Thank you so much for this um, very insightful topic. So I'm sure that we have a lot of questions or some questions at least from our audience. So let's jump right into that. 
and see if we can give them some feedback. Which option do we have to create agents related to test automation? So uh, you can have different kind of solutions like, uh, for example, Google right now created a SDK a development kit for the AI agents. You can use them, that one. You can have MCP servers, which gives the opportunity to uh, connect the different tools with the AI's, AI services. But the basics that I like, if you know how to test the APIs, you can use the API and uh, get involve your test in, uh, automation with it because it will be the basic and you will be free to uh, explore it. Great, thank you so much for answering that question. Let's see if we have more questions. I saw that you create one test book class. Is this intentional or not? Working with one class with multiple tests? Yeah, that's uh, I created as a demo purposes for this one, but uh, you can uh, play with it and get the whole test functions in one test class and run them uh, in that manner, which gives you a better uh, solutions because it's a best practice to use it but for now, I just wanted to see that uh, if the AI can uh, create the test case and uh, run it in the REST Assured, which it created uh, as a code. Perfect. Thank you so much for, for being with us today. So we have reached the end of our session. And if you have any additional questions, pop them in the chat. We can pass it along to the presenter and he can give you a little bit more insight on, on all your questions. Then stay tuned for our next sessions. You are also welcome to re-watch this presentation and all our other presentations on the testingsummit.com website. And remember to vote for Mehmet. Visit his landing page on the Testing Summit website and cast your vote for the best presenter and best presentation awards that we have available. So thank you, Mehmet, for being with us today and thank you to everybody that's joining us and then I have to say goodbye for now we'll see you soon and have a lovely day thank you bye-bye thank you Software testers. Move beyond theory and master testing with the AI powered ISTQB add on practical tester by A4Q program. The ISTQB add on practical tester by A4Q equips you with the theoretical skills and practical competence to truly excel. Learn how to apply black box testing like a pro, estimate accurately, write flawless defect reports, and catch issues early. The ISTQB add-on practical tester by A4Q complements your ISTQB certification by turning knowledge into powerful action. Visit our websites and find out more information.